Hello, Internet fans, and welcome to another 3B video movie commentary with your hosts, Rotten Roger DeMarco and Evil Dead Inks. And I requested this for my birthday solely because of our third party member, Remix One Up. Aw, shit. I think up. I'm a bit loud. One I can up, see myself up, up, lighting up the. Uh, You're supposed to be loud. That's the whole point. I'm the loud boy. For my birthday, I requested this. I wanted a commentary track for Halloween Resurrection. <laughs> and since uh, Remix is our tech man, I'd really like to hear him just disassemble uh, 2002 technology that uh, clearly rivals what we have going on in 2020, I think. Right. So I will waste no time with this. Get your Halloween Resurrection ready. We are again on the Xbox. We have our, our movie in. We are on the menu screen. And Lethal Weapon 2 rules apply on the count of three. Hit your play. So, hands clasped. Getting ready to jump into the tub. One, two, three. Boom. And now that we're underway, let me say something. I can't get away from this fucking movie. <laughs> I reviewed this movie. And now here we are. Which I, I knew as soon as I brought up to you that I wanted to do a review. You were like, I want remakes to talk about this tech and so I knew I was going to have a month filled with Halloween Resurrection, which Remix is missing bits and pieces of the Halloween franchise. So I mean, I'm missing, like, all of it. You've seen one, two. I've seen one, two, and then I've seen the reboot, and I've seen H2O, and that's... I think seen that's one and two, it. then you have enough information and in H2O to go into this one. Yeah. Remember, yeah. this is the Choose Your Own Adventure franchise, so... <laughs> You do not have to watch all the movies to understand. It actually probably hurts you to, <laughs> to have seen all the movies to <laughs> right. understand all the story. Right, so you don't have to ask about the Thorn Cult. You don't have to ask about, uh, you the know. What? Yeah, any of that stuff. So basically, we're picking up right after Jamie Lee Curtis chopped off Michael Myers' fucking head. In H2O. Oh, we get some Friday the 13th wrap-up there. We get that movie kind of wrapped up at the beginning of this movie, so you didn't even have to watch H2O. We're going to get the ending of H2O right here. That's true, yeah. Like all early Friday the 13th films, they spend the first 15 minutes recapping. Previously on. <laughs> yeah, previously on Friday the 13th. Yes. Um, it's taken him like 25 years to kill Jamie Lee Curtis, and they do that in like the first 15 minutes of this movie. I'm still sore about this uh, opener, but um, it might be it might be the mo like best part of the movie, really. is like <laughs> I'm sore about it, and it's still the best part. You know, like, I like this movie. But it took a long time for it to grow on me. I'm the best annoyed. part of every single Halloween movie is that one 15 minutes that they spend all their money on. Mm -hmm. Like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, that dream sequence, that's that fucking awesome. Dream sequence <laughs> is the only good part in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Plus the rest of it. No, see, he likes Halloween 2. Rob Zombie stuff. So I love like, Rob Zombie's Halloween 1. That was It's good, but it's it's its own thing. <laughs> I don't know about Halloween 2, though. <laughs> My favorite part of this movie is uh, when Michael Myers gets out of the car and he's going to his house and you hear... Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, he doesn't know shit about fucking car alarms. He locks the car alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that, I busted out laughing in the theater when that <laughs> happened. That's the most non-Michael Myers thing I've ever seen happen. <laughs> That is less believable than him talking in Rob Zombie's movie. Die! Of him being like, I don't want no one to steal it. No, make, sure, make, <laughs> make sure nobody messes with my car. Whoop, whoop. Nobody's stealing my ride. So Jamie Lee Curtis is uh, in Smith's Grove Sanitarium, I would assume. It's full circle. Should be, but it's probably not. It's some other sanitarium. Which, So, yeah. <laughs> She's uh, This morose motherfucker right here. <laughs> She broke up with uh, the one dude after she realized that, surprise, she murdered a paramedic. No, he died. Michael stabs him in the back, remember? I do not. George no. Clooney 2.0? Yeah, a lower end George. You can't get George Clooney higher Jorge than Jorge Clooney? Jorge Clooney. <laughs> this is Philip Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my brother is George. Whoop de doo. So, so uh, Evil, you want to let them know why? Officially, you brought Remix into this commentary. Uh, like I said at the top of this, I Remix is our tech man. Remix knows so much shit 
tech wise that I will never begin to understand and he's also the reason why things look and sound how they do as opposed to if me and Roger were in charge of <laughs> how these things would look fucking and sound. tin cans with yarn <laughs> yeah good enough for us we're like that's cool that's good enough but for this I wanted remix to experience because he's a stickler to say the least as far as technology goes we'll talk into almost another language describing how things are working for uh, how we do things so I wanted to see his uh, anger and frustration levels soar with the amount of tech that is able to be pulled off in this movie, <laughs> which takes place in 2002. Right. So, for context, I want to see what he thinks about tech that's 18 years old <laughs> compared oh. to shit we're doing in 2020. It's right. almost as old as me. Right, which is why I brought it up when I did the review and I said, you know, this movie... Uh, love it or hate it, because it's got a lot of things wrong with it, but it was very ahead of its time. And and what I meant by that is a lot of this technology. A lot of this is 2002, and they're like, you know what's going to be big? It's going to be big. <laughs> uh, fucking internet. internet, internet, internet TV. Let me be an internet TV host. And you know, lo and behold, here we are, internet TV hosts. <laughs> um, oh yeah, what if you had told your future self and found you at the theater after you left this thing all angry? After watching this movie, you know, you, you laugh and you angry. That's going to be you. <laughs> That's going to be you. You are going to be Buster Rhymes. <laughs> There's worse things, I guess, you know. <laughs> I'm going to know Kung Fu. <laughs> that happened. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, you are Buster Rhymes. <laughs> yeah. He has sweeter hair, though. Like, <laughs> like way sweeter hair. Um, okay, so, yeah, we, we got to get, we got to get this, uh. We got to get rid of jamie lee curtis <laughs> right we got to get the ball rolling which i you know i talked about it in the review like this movie completely foregoes all the previous installments the it, only thing that it does it is wrap up the h2o you know storyline kind of like it has that uh alien three uh, elm street four kind of thing like you liked how that last one ended yeah we're gonna fuck that all up <laughs> and yeah. make you really angry and upset about it yeah, I mean, not even a, you know, also starring Josh Hartnett. We don't even get him as a cameo. We just get... Yeah, he just fucked off. <laughs> we, get rid of, we get rid of Jamie Lee Curtis, so now Michael Myers has free reign to go back to his house and kill reality stars. It's, it's, it's a... But, you yes, know, when Busta Rhymes shows up, that's when I'm going to be like, all right, Remix. Start tearing this movie yes. apart. So their little shtick is that it's all an internet show? It's not even televised? or what? No, it's all internet. Yeah, yeah. Dangertainment is an internet show. In 2002, Busta Rhymes is running an internet show that is like a pay-per-view style it's broad- out of the back of a truck. And it's broadcast live. Yeah. So it is a live streaming in 2002. With like, which, what, eight people? Yeah. and Wearing think GoPros? <laughs> think about this. Back, in, back when this movie came out, uh, <laughs> the... Uh, my buddy had a PS2 where you had to put like the adapter on to play online and he would play SOCOM online yeah. and, with headsets, you know, and play SOCOM with people and the games would get dropped. Boom, 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 boom. Like, like nobody's business. It wasn't until, what was it? Xbox 360 with the, it had like a little plug in antenna, Yeah, you know, and, and you could, you could get away with some like call of duty online future and stuff. Of gaming. <laughs> right. Yeah. 100% the future of gaming. But that's the original Xbox had a huge culture of online gaming surrounding it, especially with Halo Two. Halo Two really pushed it with Xbox Live Gold. Right. So it, around two thousand and three, two thousand and two, around fifty million Americans had uh, broadband internet. So that's like an eighth of the entire population. So <laughs> around right. two thousand and two is when <laughs> internet starts to become right. extremely prevalent there throughout the United a- States. Eighth of that, eighth of the people in the country. <laughs> And bust around I was like, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> yep. I'm right. gonna get all this fucking money. But uh I don't even know where I was going with that. But like okay, no. So so that's but that's that, that's online gaming, but that is only audio. That's not video. That's not sending like Yeah, gaming just, is super lightweight when it comes to yeah, internet you're, usage. You're sending and receiving audio, which would always kinda have that tinny, you know, kind of lossy weird sound back in the day. You gotta think as well. Uh, they're not streaming such high quality video. They're probably going to be using 360p cameras, all going to a specific centralized location within the house. 
No. No. It's going to a <laughs> it's going to a conversion van outside the house. And then sending it. So out it's to probably the using internet. radio then, right? It's gonna radio have a signal? bit of. It's gonna be a radio signal. You're in trouble if you're asking us, right? That, that's, yeah, that's right, how, with that's a that's question that mark. Works. No, I mean, no, not that's right. That's we brought you on, so right. you could try to make sense of this bullshit. Not, I mean, we've kind of moved backwards when it comes to first-person view racing drones. We've moved back to using radio signal because it's so reliable. It might not look the best, and especially if you're using 360p, it's not going to matter because you're not losing a whole lot because it's such a lightweight uh, stream. So I'm thinking if they're using super low quality cameras, streaming radio signal out to a specific centralized location, it's not going to be too unreasonable for this to work. Just wait. But, but, okay, so we have we have. <laughs> just, I, for, I forget the number, but we'll say eight. We'll just roughly say eight. So we've got um, the lead girl, her friend, uh, the cook guy, <laughs> rookie, uh, of the year. rookie of the year, uh, the the pervy psych guy, uh, the redhead, girl. the redhead girl, and. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, what time your legs open, guy? Yeah. Did you already call it name him? Yeah. So so six, six total. Plus the, Plus, the cameras they have set up that the that the camera guy sets yeah. up. Yeah. So you have six people streaming live with headset cameras. GoPros. And then yeah, pre Before GoPro GoPros. GoPro. And Before then you GoPro, have GoPro. and then you have multiple cameras in you know each room of the house. So you have those steady cam shots, steady mounted shots, plus mobile cameras on each person and you can if you're watching it i, I remember right you can switch yeah he can switch to, to any camera straight up like uh, i remember like the second year that ghost hunters was out on uh sci-fi channel you could uh watch them do a live ghost hunt at a place for like six eight hours and you could go Change. through all the different cameras and alert them if you saw something in one of the one of the cameras it was like hot spot hot spot hot spot wow like cm punk was one of the first guests with them like they were investigating this uh, uh haunted hospital oh and two cm punk <laughs> um but yeah you that mean year plus long world heavyweight champion cm punk yes, yes. one and the same yes indeed but uh yeah that it's so weird um we just saw a movie where somebody did this. Yeah, walk right through the door. <laughs> uh, but it's just so weird how this movie kind of predicted where things would be. I, yeah, it, it's, it, yeah. I still can't get over that iCarly on fucking television did the exact same thing. You know what? Thing. iCarly was really good. S sue me. You know, my kids liked it. We liked it as as parents. Um, but, it, you know, they were talking about being YouTube stars before YouTube was a thing, really. I mean, YouTube was a thing, but it was, like... Barely a thing. It wasn't like it is now. Yeah. I'm also curious what he's going to think about the uh, Palm Pilot. Yeah, I, some of these things, I don't know. Like, the Blackberries, I don't know what the tech is. Like, that, I want to say I have an idea of where he's going to go <laughs> with the, an argument on it, but I want to have to just kind of materialize naturally. <laughs> I thought about bringing my Blackberry as a prop... We can use that for something. Whatever I found the it Razor all. is coming back. <laughs> we watched a movie recently where a fucking dude was using a Motorola Razor. I was like, nice fucking Motorola. <laughs> I used to have a Razor. I even had the Miami Ink <laughs> branded oh, Razor shit. phone. Yeah. Balling. I used to have a Nokia, one of those big fucking brick phones. I was always like, man, I can't wait till I can get a fucking flip phone. Yeah, the Nokia, and then you had like the clear plastic cover over it so it wouldn't get all fucked up now you get that weird leather sheath that mm. just barely caresses it so she's trapped him she's she spent yeah x <laughs> amount of years in the sanitarium and where's this was her plan <laughs> where's strode she's on the roof again mm -hmm. don't worry she's not gonna jump she's just making booby traps you know for when the boogeyman comes here right that's your plan get her <laughs> like that's Go get her she plotted, she beat his ass in H2O. She was tough, and now she's had a year to sit and pretend she's catatonic to this is the extent of her plan. I got a rope and a pulley. Like, you cut, you thought you cut his head off. You think dropping him two stories is going to do something? He got. I was, I'm more amused that she, she's ready to do him in here, and he starts like, like uh no it it could be somebody else under the mask 
he could take that off. It could be fucking anybody. How the hell would she know <laughs> what Michael Myers looks like? Saw, we don't even know what the hell he looks like. She saw his face for like three seconds in 1978, and it was Tony Moran. <laughs> yeah. The, so as, if he has a fucked up eyelid, she's got a pretty good idea. <laughs> Dude, what happened to your eye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's literally the only telltale sign is if she's got a... If it, no, no fucked up eye. A little, Who a little, are you uh, really? Crochet needle to the neck. Yeah. Which could be easier, like, just lift your collar. Let me see the side of your neck. <laughs> you got a vampire mark, then yeah, I remember you. I kicked your ass but a take, couple of times. But taking that mask, I was like, the fuck? Burt Reynolds could be under there. <laughs> what's it gonna What's it gonna matter? Nothing. Exactly. I gotta be sure that I still wouldn't be sure, regardless of what the fuck you look like. Yeah, they they do her dirty right here, man. Like shit, rope. <laughs> you know, yeah. She's like, fuck. Finally. <laughs> I remember seeing this in theaters and being Done. like, really? Like, that's her send off. <laughs> you know, they did that same shit to Tuesday night, and. In uh, Nightmare Four, like that's the send off. <laughs> it's not. That's not that awesome. <laughs> like, fucking Kristen is the shit. Like, it's a worthy adversary. You got to do him in. <sighs> Roll credits. Saying, I mean, I feel like Ken Sago's got the short end of that stick. Fucking too. a. <laughs> like he just all of a sudden like uh, and mm. stabbed. Like, throw a fucking car at him, something. <laughs> Pick two cars up and use them like Hulk style, like shields. <laughs> Here we go. I like this forethought of, like, I'm going to cover my tracks. <laughs> yeah, give it to the crazy guy. Here, you. <laughs> Take the fall for this. You be crazy. Nineteen fifty seven. Damn, he's old. I guess I never really thought of it, but do you think um, Rob Zombie used a little bit of this as inspiration for having Michael make all those stupid fucking masks? In no. His... <laughs> no. No. He wasn't like, you know what? Resurrection got right. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy people making paper mache masks. Yeah. Like I'm stealing that. That was a good idea. <laughs> what? I thought he was Michael when I first saw it just really? now because he was making the mask just like he was in uh rob zombies halloween i thought oh you thought michael like gained I th a shit yeah i was gonna away. say i thought he was a fucking heckin mega chonker i was like <laughs> what is going on hogzilla myers <laughs> baggy ass overalls heckin mega chonker <laughs> wearing a size 62 waist pant <laughs> fucking king kong bundy <laughs> <laughs> that's terrifying oh Put man a michael myers mask on king kong bundy <laughs> haddonfield university yeah, it was a hell of a town. Yeah. H-U. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? I what? want some taquitos. I'm going to keep bringing it Hey, back. that's two. We got two. I will never stop. Never stopping. <laughs> what are they talking about? Is it important? I can't hear it. Fate. It's not. It's, uh, it, it's college. I love those projectors where you just put like a transparent piece of fucking shit on there and you like drawing on it with little dry erase markers mm -hmm. i love those fucking things those, those were our projectors back in the day yep i remember right once i was about to get out of fucking high school they had those new fangled fucking projectors with touch screens and shit i was a, i was jealous <laughs> what were you pointing at the there was a kid that had those only in 2002 headphones that went around the back of your head that those just ones that look they look like regular headphones but they just have these bits that you fold them just behind your ears and have like a uh, oh like yeah a half halo behind your head which i was like awesome i can have my spiked hair and not fuck my hair up now <laughs> in high school because i can put that behind my head mm -hmm. look at discount britney murphy katie sack sacking off sack off whatever her fucking name is katie sack i'm not gonna work here anymore mm -hmm. nice don't moped. lose your head This is going to be this guy's only uh, char uh, characteristic trait. He likes to cook. And everything is related to cooking. Mm-hmm. 
character development 101, folks. Yep. Take a shot every time they mention food or obesity. <laughs> That's all he is, food. Yeah, literally. He's going to tie never, everything to food. I never thought of it like that, but yeah, that's every single line of dialogue. <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah. You think his poor diet had anything to do with this? <laughs> Too much zinc cutting up bodies in the bathtub. Yeah. Whatever the fuck he says. He even used food as his, like, three ninja style. as his self-defense. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michael Myers later. <laughs> his three ninja style. He's making... Oh, seasoning make... in his eyes. <laughs> fuck you, Michael Myers. <laughs> you burning, dude. <laughs> Cayenne pepper. It was back when, like, if someone sent you an email, you got excited. Now I just fucking delete by the masses. I opened up my email. It's like, you have 92 trash, emails. Trash, trash, <laughs> trash, 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 trash. Junk mail. You got 92 emails? I've got, like, 5,000 fucking emails, and they're all legitimate. I like, 92 a day. Yeah. I've got a, I got a shit ton of spam, too. They're all YouTube notifications, so I can't imagine what it would be like if people actually watched us yeah i don't check my <laughs> gmail fuck it gmail just blows up <laughs> yeah it just lights on fire it just starts glowing red <laughs> before it smokes out <laughs> like fucking the fridge in dana's apartment <laughs> i remember when laughed at this dude when he mm. came on screen <laughs> that's the... michael's house do you know why they say that because that's, that's michael's the... house because <laughs> that's michael's house smell him do it freak Bring him out. Just <laughs> <laughs> on his tongue. Hey, you're a part of me now. <laughs> we were using those as sweatbands. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I love it. I like that that freaked him out, but him caressing their underwear. He's like, look at that MacBook. Let it play. <laughs> let it play. Yeah. Or iBook. The Oof. iBook. We That's all had those in high school. Oof. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> okay, so he is essentially a pen pal with this kid. Yeah, that lead girl is a pen pal with... She does not know he's in high school. I believe she, he does know all about her, though. Yahoo. Are mm. chat rooms still a thing? Well, Discord. Discord. <laughs> no, like chat room, chat rooms. Like what we would consider like the chat rooms of O2. Fucking GeoCities chat rooms or some shit. Yeah, I don't you know. You can pick a category, you know. Mm -hmm. Movie chat room. Yeah. Local like, cities. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let us know. Do you know? <laughs> Are AOL chat rooms still a thing? <laughs> AOL. <laughs> you can still get those AOL timed discs. AOL are still charging people to this day. There's your Halloween cards. atmosphere. Those yeah, things right there. Those, Fuck those things. Those, those are shit cheap uh, uh, decorations that you're knocking on there that I decorate my place with. Oh, you mean you mean that one right over there? You mean those two I have up there? The one I have over there? <laughs> Gross. Gross. We love them. I don't think you could see my hand. I don't think he's on screen anymore. <laughs> no, he's not. Mike, Mike stays out of the shadows. It's my boyfriend. Bust the Riz arms. Look at that tripod. <laughs> and it starts. That's the exact same tripod we have right there. <laughs> the Amazon fourteen ninety nine. Amazon spec. Basics. <laughs> Made out of the cheapest fucking extruded aluminum possible. Those are some lightweight fucking cameras. Here you go, Remix. You're about to get a eye eye fuckery full of tech. Tyra Bizangs. Funky butt loving. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. <laughs> There's like your quality of the camera right there. Yeah, so it's four by three. Super super lo fi. He's talking about food. Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, you know, food is all he has. What kind of camera's at a high eight? I was gonna say, does that have cassettes in it? Oh yeah. <laughs> So it's not mini, even a, it's a mini eight. It's a mini. not a digital camera, so it's got to be like 480, 360, something, something so lo-fi. DVD cost in two thousand two, motherfucker. <laughs> Forty bucks. Yeah, it's like a high-end four K right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, but once Twister came out, you know, everything started to change. Twister was in the 90s. Yeah, but once, six. once that came out, everybody was like, you know what? We're moving on. Oh, my God, is that a fire? <laughs> what bell? Like one of these, one of the lights like we have? Mm-hmm. It was a softbox. <laughs> a softbox that, like, blew up. <laughs> he, like, almost has an orgasm right there. It's so weird. Uh, not concerned at all that this giant light that just blew up behind him. And here's your only other uh, character. Trait for Buster. Buster Rhymes. He likes kung fu. Talking to himself. I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> Just as much as Buster Rhymes, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe more. Who's interrupting <laughs> me during my kung fu? Because I only have you guys as friends. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I pretend you're there. This is good stuff, huh, Raj? <laughs> 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 I want you to talk to me. <laughs> Have the courage to speak to me. <laughs> the courage to speak to me. Hello. <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. Just so you know. We've got like two hours of evil fucking just talking to himself in the back room. We're just going <laughs> to upload that on the Patreon one of these days. Just put a slow, like ominous score behind it that's slowly progressing. <laughs> He's going volume. insane. Yeah. <laughs> The quality slowly gets better, but the derangement slowly increases as well. <laughs> what are these facial expressions? Right? What are they, right? I was say, Leon, like, he's like all up in her face. Just bow, bow, bow. I'm pantomiming. You can't hear it. <laughs> it's a sight gag. Not, not one person yet has been like, he, he keeps talking on the phone in the back room, but that's just attached to like a wooden or like a metal framed shelf. There's no plugs to it. <laughs> Who has a dot? Who has a fucking landline anyway? That's not attached to anything. It's a smartphone case. <laughs> <laughs> the phone cord. <laughs> it's the charger. Yeah. Give yourself a little. Have you pat done on that? that? You talk to yourself in the third person. How good you're doing on something? I, I don't you think done so. Done doing a review. You're like, God damn, God damn, Raj. <laughs> you're doing good. <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. There's your Halloween atmosphere I was again. Say, we're still watching a Halloween movie. Uh, yeah, in case you forgot. I did. Halloween. If only it was a truck full of fucking potatoes. <laughs> Uncovered Unreal- potatoes. Unrealistically transported potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Same way with those pumpkins. You think you don't think that's how they transport pumpkins? No. <laughs> they put them in. <laughs> they have them on pallets that are like four feet tall cardboard real thick cardboard around it so they can transport them that way so all that weight's not all on those poor pumpkins on the bottom <laughs> it's essentially like a pumpkin roll at that point when they get all of them unloaded <laughs> all right i forgot you you uh you have expertise in this yeah that's where my expertise lies in transporting produce <laughs> transporting pumpkins a resident expert in pumpkin transportation people that that's inks. not how they transport <laughs> pumpkins that's that's Really time-consuming how they did that. And now we're going to have our resident uh, tech man start tearing this shit apart. I want one of those three, Okay, so dial-up internet. He's got three window, vid- three video windows open. That took at least probably eight hours. Uh, Fucking load that up. Yeah. Because I know when we would download the like Freddy vs. Jason trailer. Freddy vs. Jason. It took six to eight hours to get that tr- trailer downloaded, and that was two and a half minutes. And that's to watch it one time with quick time you, or real player. You damn sure left that screen up as long as you could, too, to watch it again. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to exit out of it and come back. Was that a thing in 2002? A palm with a pilot. stylus? Yeah, with a stylus pen. I, was, I wanted one HP, of those. It looks like. What do you, yeah, what do you think that cost in 2002? Someone in college could easily afford that. <laughs> well, they've got rich parents. You know, they go to Haddonfield University. Probably, you know, a little, a little bougie. Now, they were discontinued in now 20, cameras. 2011. Well, that's a small fucking camera. Right? Look at that shitty-ass resolution, though. Yeah, you can tell that's radio transmission because those weird fucking lines through it. I mean, that's not how it would look, but... (laughs) Get him, Remix. That looks like shit. What? It looks like shit. That's (laughs) what I thought. 
This is where all that's getting run out of, is that fucking van. That van. That van. Back there. <laughs> I can see it. No, you can't. I can, I can see it. We got one generator here. Wireless transmission. Okay, there's at least eight monitors there. Battery life would be a huge concern. It looks like there's a wire attached to that camera. Right there, it's hanging down. But That's still radio transmission. <laughs> Just get it done. Just do it. Young Remix, hook it up. <laughs> I'll bring that make, shit up. I'm going to make a Frappuccino. <laughs> it's also something to have in this fucking van. Which, uh, yeah, um, this is the first Halloween movie that there was ever a Frappuccino made in a garage. So it, you know, it's changed history. <laughs> <laughs> like loading up all this equipment to drop off here, and they're like, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Frappuccino machine. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's in the garage, but yeah. This also, you ever seen a tripod? that is fucking razor sharp how hard would you have to stab one of us to, to, <laughs> to like impale us with one of the tripods you better stab do you think if you had like four like 40 feet running time man that's sharp <laughs> Jesus Christ those are like gravel attachments for it I used to do that all the time I used to stab people with the head. murder people yeah with, with those a... weird fucking gravelly ones gravel tripods yeah no i used to take that tripod over there do that exact same thing and act like it's a gun walking around first person shooter video games mm. so fucking ridiculous could that generator run all this shit good question uh no <laughs> <laughs> Is that how much you think it could run between let's say 10 Streaming monitors. Well, if a you frappuccino machine, a stereo system. <laughs> if you listen closely, you can't hear the generator. It's not really running. It's just a movie. <laughs> I don't think they're oh, using you think generators. You think it's just whoa, 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 that thing would be whoa, loud whoa. as fuck. <laughs> and this is not a good camera shot. <laughs> the tripod is all in the shot. And there's Michael Myers' car getting towed away. <laughs> Invested in all these giant decals. <laughs> yeah, look at me, I'm famous. <laughs> not filming internet show here. It's so st stupid. What you looking at? <laughs> Nobody's home. Nobody lives oh, here. Geez, see me. So, so not only are they they have all of this stuff going, but they're also running the website, keeping all of those feeds happening via website so that people can go to the website and pick and choose. I don't know where their internet's coming from. I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. They probably tapped into the neighbors, you know. Got a, got it, a fucking... Mean, it is a residential neighborhood, so just collecting everybody's... Wi-Fi signal that isn't a thing in 2002. Imagine just fucking trying to watch this on dial-up. Did you ever go, like, did you ever try to watch someone live webcamming on dial-up? It was a chore. See, I don't remember any live services like... Uh, a couple of porn sites. Live Jasmine. You no, like, that was like you 2006. Like, <laughs> the, the only... Justin Justin.tv is the only early live streaming service that i know of and i don't even know when that started that was Sex. the precursor to twitch i'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there because when we were all like 14 which would have been what fucking 98 ish yeah 98 ish i would have been too um Ugh. you know we're like what can we look up on this internet but we're like, sex, look up sex, because we're a little pervs, and we're like, sex.com, and there was like live shows, where you'd have to put in credit card numbers, I'm gonna 
incriminate myself because we had a credit card number generator. Ooh, you old, you old <clears throat> criminal. And we watched some girls do the things on live you webcams. Any, you any furlonged them? Yeah, easy money. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember how long it would fucking take to download any video with dial-up connection. Oh, it was a chore. So I don't see how live streaming anything that early was very viable. Not a spoiler. It was. Yeah, see, I, <laughs> I just... So I'd love to throw you into this, like, Back to the Future machine and see if there anyone would like this try to make this work <laughs> <laughs> we go back to 2002 and try to do a live could stream. you do this with even with today's technology could you think you could pull off what they're trying to do here if i had those exact same cameras it would be easy as fuck because those are super fucking low quality lightweight cameras it wouldn't be that frame rate because that's not reasonable those are <laughs> clearly 30 frames it would probably be like 24 maybe 18 frames super fucking slow and jittery so you're saying for the next 24 hour live stream if we lower our resolution you can give us 16 cameras i would need cameras that are capable of being transmitted over radio which they're coming back like <laughs> full force okay all right you heard it here folks Get us to 2,500 subs. Remix is talking out his ass, but That's we're going to do it. That's when the next 8-10 uh, to 10 hour live stream is going to happen, so we <laughs> need to get 16 cameras and about 550 more subs. <laughs> yeah. Go. I would love going to the store and be like, what's your highest end camera? All right, show me like something seven steps behind that. <laughs> show you me. have like 20 of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, let me just order them from 1998 <laughs> I did that once how do you think the audio uh, would be absolutely non-existent atrocious <laughs> I don't think <clears throat> like literally non-existent I think or? non-existent you think that they're when they set up the stationary cameras they're, they're running off of the audio on the stationary cameras kind of have to that would sound like shit <laughs> that would sound <laughs> so bad this would get a lot of one star ratings. <laughs> like if you watch those ghost hunter shows back forever ago, they had those huge ass contraptions on their heads. And that had the forward facing camera to look at their face and then the outward facing camera and they had all sorts of shit. This is really bastardized. <laughs> <laughs> you just got an ear camera and a battery pack on their butts yeah 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 to a battery pack which i would also assume is the the radio signal right. sending which they have to be there all night so that's not possible. not possible not possible not possible at all <laughs> <laughs> not possible 20 or not okay, 24 let's just hours say it was, at least eight a, hours yeah let's just say it's an eight hour run how many times do they need to swap out their i was gonna say breaks? that the batteries are probably around two to four hours so we're Max. looking at two to three battery changes. God, maybe. Which, yeah, you would have to For have a person. <laughs> crew, yeah. Radio's so. not that hard on your battery life, I don't think. So we need like 24 extra batteries. <laughs> Bless me. Back to this, the Halloween aesthetic. Right. This party is held at Remix's house. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen the entirety of my house. My house is two fucking rooms. <laughs> this well, is maybe technically one room down here. Yep. This yeah. is the wrong room. This room is larger than all of the rooms, a.k.a. the two rooms in my house. You'll see why it's your house. Football players dancing with each other. In their football uniforms. Oh, he's using a flat screen TV. That's a as nice a fucking TV. <laughs> you go to your first college party and you're like, "Where's the computer? <laughs> I'm on it." Oof! I changed my mind. Look at that res. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. You already committed. Yep, you already like it. Okay. Yeah. There's no way that fuck unless that was a even a GIF would take fucking forever to load back in 2002. Yeah, I mean, starting the computer was at least a <laughs> ten minute process. It always sound like a fucking coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
like percolating coffee. <laughs> Sound like her espresso machine in the fucking garage. Yeah. Let's go to the clearly abandoned house with no lights on it. Yeah, go knock. They're uh torture it. You know this shit was all after like like reshoots, like shoot some more Halloween stuff. There's not enough Halloween shit in this Halloween movie. <laughs> Halloween the it Jack up. Lanterns and shit. <laughs> There's one of my complaints. How are they seeing fuck all in this house? Well, yeah. Those with cameras would see absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> only lit by candles. <laughs> the only way they'd be able to see anything is if they lowered the frame rate. Look even how clear more. that looks, though. Not That's possible. Daytime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you saying these are day for nights? Yeah, look at that. Even no. that's not bullshit. You should have seen how the camera that we have, this very, very nice fucking mirrorless camera, looked before we turned on these soft boxes. You could not see shit. And there's light down here. Like, yeah, there's two big overhead lights already on. Granted, I've got the ISO set pretty fucking low. <laughs> we have four giant lights on us right now. <laughs> And it looks perfect. It might be a bit bright. We do what we want. But it doesn't look like that, so we're winning. So we take all these out and we light like 48 candles around here and it'll... It'll it'll. That's what out. we should have done. We yeah. should have we should have done this commentary true to the tech from this film. We have the fucking cameras. Why didn't we do that? I don't know. That would have been hilarious. We're just sitting here holding candles with a fucking 480p camera filming us. I'm using holding a bug light because close I got to a lantern. <laughs> Flies Zap. flying into it. If I only had that shotgun salt shooter thing. Yeah. You can get them in pistol form too. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> See, I opened. Oh my god. They're cool. I opened your eyes to a world of bug assassination. I just want the pain, the painless version of it. <laughs> oh, painless is waiting. The whole house just Come covered on. in salt. Come on, you. Fuckers. They're really cool. You really have to get one. What's up, I... Pam comes home. House is just covered in salt. Like you've been eating fr she'd be like, You've been eating French fries? No. <laughs> Killing flies. <laughs> uh, it was payback time. <laughs> this is live. What are you doing? She's trying to get famous. That's what he said. You should if you flashed this... one one titty will light up a thousand computer monitors. Not aiming very high with just a thousand, but you know. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a big percentage. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we would flash if we got a thousand <laughs> views on one of our videos. Sign me up. Yeah. Let's go. I'll give you both of them. <laughs> so, Dangertainment's premise is they're supposed to be in the Myers house overnight. And explore the mystery of Michael Myers. Yeah, to... essentially shoot an eight-hour live stream there. Like, there's, you know, uncover the secrets of Michael Myers' upbringing and all of this stuff. <laughs> Spoiler, they planted a bunch of shit. <laughs> Spoiler. But that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested <laughs> just in <laughs> dissecting the tech of this movie. He's over there hitting space bar, going through cameras, making them full, full, full fucking frame. frame. Yeah. I think the head-mounted cameras are fairly well represented. I was expecting something highly unreasonable, well, like that. <laughs> highly unreasonable, like that. <laughs> yeah, that see, one every, shot that you couldn't see anything looked beautiful. Every time you start to give this movie an inch, it takes it away. <laughs> oh, that's not so. Never mind. Never mind. That's what it would look like. In a basement with no lights? Everywhere in that fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it had power and electricity all on. Do you even remember what that guy's name is? I don't think I ever knew what <laughs> his name was. I just call him a perv. I already forgot. Horror movie trope number one. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny. And uh, fucking redhead Uma Thurman here. I was gonna say discount Juliet. Uh, Julianne Moore. Yo. Is that not who that is? That is not her. <laughs> That's not Julianne Moore. It looks like her in like she every was... other shot. But she does kind of have a Heather Graham. I see Uma Thurman there. Ah, a little bit. 
Maybe that's just a standard look. Standard look. I don't know. Just and slinking going, around yeah, the house. Rolling around a house where I can't see anything. <laughs> With the biggest fucking butcher knife on the planet. Yeah. Literally like the sword How is that in Final view? Fantasy. That, good? <laughs> that I do like that a lot, actually. You'd think they'd would, put, like, floodlights next to the... Would reality, would you see them fully running there? Would it be, like, them at the beginning of the dining room table, and then the next frame would be them at the end of the dining room Absolutely. table on the other <laughs> side of it? <laughs> yep. There probably wouldn't be a whole lot of motion blur. They'd probably have their exposure rate as high as possible and just turn down the frame rate because they're, they wouldn't be capable of capturing that many frames. So in order to get as much light in there as possible they would have really low frame rate and compensate with absolutely unreasonable uh, shutter rates. It doesn't make any sense to me, like if you were Busta Rhymes and you um, were wanting this <clears throat> to be successful, that you wouldn't um, <clears throat> light the building, you know, because you're limited by technology. So you would think, like, it should be well lit. That's if you're not a movie <coughs> character. Right, right. But I suppose, like, all the Ghost Hunter stuff, you know, when they go to these... <laughs> they're using real places. equipment with real... Well, yeah, but they're using real equipment, but there is no light. There's no light in these places. How do you like that there's no fires for her to put out there, for any of them? You're both are just drinking wine. <laughs> I want you to start drinking wine during the yeah, live stream. not possible. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah, you're just running two people in 2020. Do you have time to pour a glass of wine and revel at your work? Perhaps make a frappuccino <laughs> yeah. and dance around to some R&B music. After 45 minutes, I can probably take a dump. Yeah. And if I, yeah, if I don't need to lead the conversation somewhere for you to push a button, you're good. You can fuck <laughs> off of those button presses. Oh, you're like, what just happened? That guy got stabbed in the top of the head and his camera went out. Makes I sense. I don't know. <laughs> Does it? Is Does there a power cord supply going around the top of his head? Through his neck. <laughs> through his neck? <laughs> that was a long blade, dog. <laughs> Wouldn't it go around his neck? He has the power cord in his neck? Something like that. <laughs> Are you still talking to me? I'm trying to watch Yeah, we're talking to I you. I don't know what's happening. It doesn't matter what's happening, Remix. We told you what's happening. This live stream group of people in 2002 is trying to do a fucking internet show, and I just want to know about the tech in this movie. I don't give a fuck about my concern about is the internet the story. My concern is the internet. <laughs> like every other shot with those cameras is kind of realistic. You start kind of getting on its side, and then you back off. So, like every time it does the uh, radio effects, where you can tell that it's not digital transmission. That's that's well representing the cameras at the time. Right. Because even though they are digital cameras, they're using analog to transmit the signal. Analog. Analog. <laughs> that was the other commentary we just did. Yeah. <laughs> An L log. Log. What, you mean like like wood? Yes. Like wood that I could put in my mouth? Log jamming. <laughs> log jamming. God Who damn. is he supposed to be? I don't know. Is that Hef? That's Ken Shamrock. <laughs> Slap me. Uh, you beat me to it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Slap me. <clears throat> too bright? All of it's too bright. I don't. I do not think that it would be possible to see anything, even in a moderately lit house with those cameras. Mm. Let alone the moonlight and one lantern. How about her? Like the shot of her there. Like he's blown out. That's what you would see. <laughs> he looks like a ghost. <laughs> Ghosts are a product of their time. <laughs> Let's cool her. There's, there's too many different types of artifacting. Like some of the shots just look like they're filmed on 8-bit color spectrum. Like, this looks different than most of the others. Like, the color depth on some of them is different. It's all post-production. It's like, let's change up the effect for this one. 
There's a bonus feature where you can watch this entire film through their head cams. Through the head cams. And each head cam is different. One's green, one's blue, one looks like it's on a VHS tape. <laughs> I like that concept. <laughs> like Busta couldn't afford to get all the same camera. <laughs> right. So he's going to different places. This buying, one's Radio this, Shack. This yeah, the Hitachi. closest equivalent to everywhere, at different places. <laughs> like he's trying not to have too big of a paper trail in one place. So he's like, buy two here, buy one there. Was it right like a fucking here. serial killer? Like, you purchase your <laughs> lime in the different stores, you purchase your fucking shovel? Yes. <laughs> you do not buy that in the same place. You get the rope two counties over. Pay with cash so you don't leave a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> then to tie you back to it. I'm more mm-hmm. concerned about what camera they use to shoot the rest of this movie because there's very low film grain, even though they're in these really low light situations where you'd have to adjust the ISO super high upwards. This is just a remastered 4K, baby. Or Blu ray. Is Blu-ray, this? Yeah, not 4K. There's just. I'm not fancy like Raj. I ain't got a 4K player. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. That fucking thing right there. I ain't. Nope. It's just a Blu-ray player. Yep, the it's S. A Blu-ray player. The S was the 4K yeah. player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna alienate myself, but I hate 4K. <laughs> I don't. I am not a 4K snob. I bought into the hype, and I don't like it. It's too smooth and weird feeling for me. No, it has that daytime soap move to it. I hate it. I don't like that either. I hate everything about it. It's off uh, putting. Mm-hmm. Seems cheap. Like I would feel like I feel like I would get dizzy. From yeah. Too much movement on that. Yeah, it looks cheap. <laughs> like the nicer you make it look, the the less like a movie it looks. And that bothers me cuz I want my movie to look like a movie. I don't yeah. want it to look all fucking smooth like they're standing right in front of me. You should start watching everything in that high frame rate mode on your TV. That's what we're talking about. That's what just that's like what 4- everything. It's yeah. horrible. That's what 4K looks like to me, and I hate it. And I couldn't figure out how to describe it because like it moves. Things move weird. I feel like, like Kevin Costner in Waterworld trying to describe how I don't like being on land. <laughs> it doesn't move right. <laughs> you can't describe it correctly. Fucking Waterworld. We <laughs> Waterworld. Fucking- Waterworld. Waterworld reference during a Halloween Resurrection it commentary. Got an Arrow or Blu-ray release too. Yeah, it did. Frank picked it up. I would like to have it. I haven't watched Waterworld since I was a kid, so I remember I like hating when it. Dennis Hopper's like he's like a turd that won't flush. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hating it, but it's also been twenty plus years since I've seen it, so it's Mad Max on the water. Mm-hmm. So now they're in a room where they think there are no cameras. So there's no except camera, the cameras that they're wearing and no light. I want to know what the audio situation is. Can people actually hear from those fucking cameras? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that that's possible. I don't think that's when, right. Because when uh, cheaper Brittany Murphy would, did her bit earlier and screamed, they had to turn the volume down as they were watching it. So they're hearing it. This Ooh, all counts as one view. <laughs> all one view, yep, yeah. <laughs> you fuckers, go log into all your shit. <laughs> the ratings. There are no ratings. This is online. And we yeah, have... I don't know how, how would he uh, uh, I'm make s- money off of this? You well, said it was a pay-per-view type thing, right? I thought it was pay-per-view, but I'm, I might be mixing it up with the, the Condemned, because that was a pay-per-view online right. thing. Yeah, they just this one, they just, yeah, they just logged on at that dude's house. Well, uh, Rookie of the Year did bring it up to Busta Rhymes, like, I got an idea how you can make some money on this gig. Product placement. Like, while we're exploring, I'm drinking a Pepsi. You know, label out or whatever. Like, <clears throat> I like that Busta hadn't even thought of it either. He's like, huh. Like, money? You're going into this, you have not thought of that? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We gonna be millionaires. How though? <laughs> the selling dangertainment shirts, probably. And decals for your car. It yeah. could just be one of those things where you try and get established. One really good run could, pro- like, project your career so far. So it becomes a real TV show as opposed to an internet TV show, right? Made in Taiwan. Funland, five ninety nine. <laughs> Which I liked that he's like made in Taiwan. Like you couldn't just pick it up and be like, "This is foam. This is just foam. This is not a hand. It doesn't yeah. even smell. <laughs> it doesn't even smell. This has no smell whatsoever to it. Hey, I Michael think it's Beck. fake. <laughs> nope. Got to check for that made in Taiwan logo. I don't see a Taiwan logo. 
must be a real hand. This does not feel like a Halloween movie. Right? Um, it's a all, tech movie, man. Also, that... Well, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say something about the, the blood on his knife, but that's faux Michael Myers, so that makes sense. <clears throat> that the blood on the knife <laughs> looks like shit. Look, remix just rolled up up behind him there. Mm-hmm. If he starts dancing, we know what's up. <laughs> that's not how you do that. Do you, do you feel like? I mean, you haven't seen many of the Halloween films, but. Based off of your vibe of this film, do you feel like this movie kind of bastardizes what the others um, accomplish, or are you just okay with this? Like, eh, it's not doesn't have the Halloween vibe, but it, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with it. I don't like, I don't like that they got rid of Laurie immediately. That's right. kind of fucking stupid. But the rest of it, I think, is is just a fine movie. It's just fun. <laughs> I like the clear quality difference in those two masks. Right. That's the rubies. That's some, yeah, that's some... His shit looks like H2O mask. I didn't think I'd like the uh, mask in this, but no, that mask looks perfectly fine. It's okay. Wh- which uh, one's got the really shitty face? Four. Four. But four will grow on you because that movie is phenomenal. That's... That's up there in terms of quality. That's my most rewatchable one. Four and two for me. I go to two a lot. I like two. I like all the characters in two. And I also like that Laurie Strode kind of takes a back seat and it's more really about all the hospital people. (laughs) It's a Dr. Loomis movie. (laughs) (laughs) You should have done that whole spiel on that Mm. fucking review. Right. Well, then, you know, Buster Rhymes just like, a lot of people, which I said this in my review, a lot of people will just fucking hate him in this movie. I hate the constant lip biting thing that he does, like the. But um, in terms of cast members having the most fun, he is. He's having a ball. He is having a fucking blast. Like, is it great? No, but it's fucking That's... awesome. Like, <laughs> also it's like in uh, the two videos now where Michael has come into the store that people think that that's me <laughs> right like no <laughs> I had to I'm not been that thin probably since junior high <laughs> I had to stand on my toes to make myself taller in this one and then I would, I would I, look like George Wilbur in fucking Hall- her curse of Michael Myers Halloween it's my favorite Michael like, Myers look uh, yeah <laughs> looking like a tubby kind of Dr. Brown hair look to him i was using my right hand to hold up the knife initially because i always have the wristwatch on my left hand and it was like covering the frame and i was like fuck gotta switch hands you can fucking see me wearing my watch in the video (laughs) because because they're like hey switch hands and i was like gotcha didn't take off the fucking watch (laughs) less noticeable than the uh, band than the uh, robber wearing the certified popcorn i did that on purpose i knew we were going to record something and i was like i'm not going to wear like a t-shirt that I would normally wear. I'm going to wear something for the store. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fan of this guy. I'm going to buy a shirt. Then I'm going to steal my money back from him. <laughs> Free shirt. <laughs> Robbing you was three references in one. Yes, it's a reference to the hidden, to the car, and to uh, nothing to lose. Yep. Absolutely. The car has to be done at some point. Oh, we will cover the car. And nothing to lose. Yes. Um, We've done the hidden now, so. But we haven't done a commentary for it nope. yet. So that's always open. The hidden yeah. is so fucking good. Absolutely. So now you're getting a peek into. They had that. They had that <laughs> Cooking fake with room. Michael. So there was some truth to that behind what that guy was saying. Right. The rats fucked them up. <laughs> so, yeah, she's kind of stumbled on past the places where all the cameras are. There's like a sewer lair. And Michael Myers has a cot, he has like a hot plate. With fucking rats and magazines and shit to pass the time. Yeah, which I like. This house has a underground fucking like tunnel system. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just think it's very silly that like it's just it feels so shoehorned in there. Like you know what, Michael Myers lives under his house all year. Yeah, that'll work. You yeah, know, like eats rats and shit. He keeps building more tunnels like Rambo down there. Or- <laughs> 
stealing a, bricks and shit. He's a fucking mason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just digging the tunnel out with that giant fucking butcher knife, and then... Somebody's getting fired for all the times they're losing these bricks on job sites. He <laughs> Takes them one at a time. Yeah, like... I mean, well, he grabs fucking tombstones with his bare hands and carries those fucking around town. <laughs> I have no no problems with believing him taking fucking piles of bricks. He's still in bricks like fucking Andy Dufresne takes rocks out from his fucking jail cell. <laughs> yeah, this shaking his boot, 12 fucking bricks fall out. Clunk, clunk, clunky, clunk. 1,400 more trips and I can make me part of a tunnel. <laughs> then I'm going to put a padlock on it so no one gets in here. <laughs> With the shittiest gate ever. <laughs> That's just stealing random like cemetery gate poles and like welding them together. So he's a welder now too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a man of many talents, that uh, psychopath. There's some more of the world shit going on. Mm-hmm. Getting duped by uh, found footage stuff, a la Blair Witch shit. Smoking a bong. Which I like. Where she? Oh, the little hand was like, where'd she have that stashed away? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> I like that. I was like, I'm gonna go on an eight-hour live stream event. I'm gonna bring my fucking bong with me. <laughs> it's not against terms of service. There is no terms of service. <laughs> Do whatever I want. Yeah, because who's to say it's real? You know, it could be a prop bong. You can't bust prop me, bong. Kappa, see? Is that a thing? Is prop bonging a thing? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, there's I water assume. pipes. You know, you know I assumptions mean... Assumption's the mother of all fuck-ups. I need to know this. Uh, you know, like in movies, people don't really snort coke. They snort B12, so... What now? Yeah, that's, that's what you like, Snort crushed up B12. I wouldn't want to snort it I learned that from anyway. Sid Haig, man. Sid Haig was talking about how he was in some movie. Ain't no way Sid Haig wasn't really snorting coke in anything. Vietnam movie <laughs> where he had to come up out of the water like fucking Chuck Norris with the big machine gun. And he like, so he comes up out of the water and then puts a rail of coke on a knife, snorts a rail of coke. But for whatever reason, they couldn't get the shot. They couldn't get the shot. So he kept having to do it. And he asked the director, like, what am I snorting? Am I going to be okay? Because they kept having to do it. And the director like, like the seventh time of doing it. Like, this is going to kill me, probably. Right, like, well, it's B12. Like, that's what we use on sets. We just crush up B12. Because you can't overdose on B12. You just urinate it out. So the most it'll do is, you yeah. know, kind of hop look, you up a little just bit. just looks like you murdered a predator when you go pee. Right. Yeah. So uh, so he said he, you know, kept doing it. And then... Uh, that's all I'm going to see now when I see people doing coke in movies is B12. Right. Like, I'm already, like, mayhem. The dude's like, B12. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why he's so amped up. And then Sid Haig... takes of taking B12 shots up the nose. He said when they started rapping, because they finally got the shot, he was, like, in cold water, but he was so fucking warm because he was all fucking hopped up on B12. It's coursing through my veins. <laughs> yep. Good to know. Yeah, that was... We need to film a bit with cocaine on the channel. We got, I got B12 pills ready to go. Up the wazoo. Crush them up. I don't know if intaking solid matter into your nose and into your lungs is such a good idea. We snort what we want, Remix. Pixie if the, sticks. If, it, <laughs> if the fans demand a skit where we snort B12... What movie would warrant that? Scarface? Yes. No, we use real cocaine for that. <sighs> baking powder, because baking soda people will have... Muffins going out of their nose. Scary movie reference. Deep cut. Ding. Take one of those Listerine breath strips, roll it up into a tube... And then stick that up your nose. Fuck you. Is that you. still a thing that's made? They still make breast strips? I don't know, but... I don't think they do. I knew a kid that stuffed one up his nose once. It was... It Not was awesome? A thing for him. <laughs> a thing for him. He's dead now. Yeah. Hopefully. Rest in peace, Rose Blumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Died shoving daily. Listerine strips up his nose. Died doing what he loved. <laughs> Living the dreams. Doing blowies with his nose. Yeah. Do what the fuck y'all So they paused do. the live stream so he could tell them. It's yeah. just me. There's no real Michael Myers in here. Which didn't turn off the other cameras, the still cameras that are in the house that presumably you could hear him going, mm. like, quit fucking, what are you doing? Yep. Dude, are you fucking this up? No, are you fucking this up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you could recut this movie just a little bit, make it a little bit faster, make it a little bit more of a Halloween movie. Because yeah, the shots with Michael aren't horrible. 
Just give it time. <laughs> Is it gonna get worse? <laughs> there's some pretty, there's some pretty uh, silly shit, you know. But again, he's like, gonna start pinning people to walls. Yes. You know, hard it is to <laughs> catch up people walking and <laughs> running their asses off. There's so much cardio. Chwomp. Wrong icon, bitch. What no, What made that noise? He was holding the knife. <laughs> He un <laughs> unsheathed it from <laughs> the air. From his other yeah. Hand, yeah, that's a Ginsu blade. Cut through a shoe. <laughs> God damn it! She looks like a candle. <laughs> At, <laughs> after watching all the or watching the Halloween twenty five years of terror. Uh, doc and, and kind of finding out some behind the scenes stuff about Brad Laurie who plays <laughs> Michael Myers in this movie they find it very hard to be intimidated by him because he's a stunt man but yeah a, a lot of the cast said he kind of had like walking farts so like if when he would was nervous he would fart so <laughs> if he's trying to do the walk he would fart a bunch so I like <laughs> so now I just hear that I just want to cut in a bunch of farts when he's walking I want those like during the fight with Busta later. <laughs> Getting kicked. Ugh. Taking a page out of uh, old Jason's book here. <laughs> little freshly squozen head. And I also don't like uh, seeing his eyes too much. It gets yeah. kind of weird, but like you can tell he's got eyeliner on. He didn't in one of the shots, and then the immediate following shot he did. <laughs> it's... It, it's just a weird thing, like, for his overall look. 50% of the time when I'm under the mask, I'm wearing eye makeup. That's true. You do. It just depends on what kind of shots we're doing. Mm hmm It all depends on the lighting as well, because if you don't need it... Why well, uh, use it? I'd still <clears throat> right. prefer it just in case. Just in case. It's like with uh, The Thing, when they were like, well, if you look at it from the wrong angle, it might not look good. It's, you're not going to see it from the wrong angle. Right. You're always going to see it from one fucking angle. Here we are talking about food. Just got to talk about food. Fighting in the kitchen. Yeah. Hit you with the rolling, rolling pin. pin. <laughs> Sucker. Yeet. So have some fresh basil in the eye. Or whatever the fuck it is. Oregano. <laughs> <laughs> always makes me think of uh, the dude in the Friday the 13th reboot. Like, told you, you can't get a handle on me. Like, out, <laughs> out, out juking Jason in the fucking garage. <laughs> huh? Food like reference. Sushi, motherfucker. He's that little, like, is he doing this shit while he's cooking? Like, practicing swiping motions? <laughs> Swiper, doing, no swiping. Doing Wing Chun with fucking carrot sticks. <laughs> The old door pin redux, baby. Uh, Squeak. Woo! <laughs> 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 Just start adding those in. Yep. See now, what what is that angle? That was a wide angle. He's got a fisheye lens on that, that camera. That camera shoots wide angles. Look at the size of that fucking butcher knife. Get fucked. That's not a real thing. Triple. That have to be like this long to go through him, him and stick out that much in the wall behind him and that much sticking out on the other side of him and strong too to hold up like at least the let's say 180 200 pound guy in the air mm -hmm. in the air air, air. <laughs> um it's kind of like stabbing a shotgun this is the other one i mean like so she's she's yelling to him and he's gonna re uh send information back through through the palm pilot like, I feel that would take that days. Would, yeah. <laughs> like, right. by the time it says... Message he's in not the hallway, received, yeah. Yeah. He should already be a, already be out of the house and done killing everyone. Uh, Remix, can you please look up if Dangertainment.com is for sale? Uh, Dangertainment.com coming soon will be the new... Just put this, put this commentary on it. <laughs> Dangertainment.com. I, I would lose my shit if the... Official movie website was still up. It's 
like moviepoopshoot.com. This website is parked, oh. free courtesy of GoDaddy.com. Purchase now for twelve ninety nine. Oh. For what, a month? I believe that GoDaddy you purchase the domain and then you have to host it for a certain amount host per month. Host it to our YouTube can channel. We, can we pre-purchase it for October and just run it all <laughs> October long? <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Don't, don't you don't, get no fucking ideas Don't steal now. it from us. Dangertainment.com. <laughs> Coming soon, baby. Hotbed of... <laughs> Buy it in all October long. People going to that website watching this movie will go straight to our commentary for this film. <laughs> it's marketing genius. Yes. Old Freddy boy. <laughs> Old Freddy boy. <laughs> You're going to be... I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> I don't... Buy the wine right now. I don't think that's how it works. But, uh, you know, work. anything we can do to get more people to see what we do. Really. If I have to buy... If that pops things up, I will go get a Dangertainment logo tattooed on myself. <laughs> I've been wanting one. I've done been wanting a Dangertainment <laughs> right, logo. Right, right. Like, right on the fucking neck. Just, uh, oh, fuck you. That Dangertainment. Like <laughs> <laughs> We're going to buy Dangertainment, and it's just going to be a 24-hour live view of the video store. The empty store, yeah. You'll see all the spiders. You'll get to see Remix. You'll get to see Mrs. DeMarco. You'll get to see everything that goes on in that video store. Not Tons of fucking. Tons of fucking. Oh, yeah. That's, I forgot. There's a lot of fucking in there. Not so anymore. There's worth, no couch anymore. You have to subscribe. Like, you have to pay a monthly fee. Dangertainment is free to subscribe. Yeah. Tons of fucking. Tons of fucking. Add that in the patron tiers. Exclusive uh, <laughs> access to dangertainment.com. That's what we need to do, Remix. You find me a like a 720 or a 3 whatever P camera that we can the run. The 3P a, camera. That three we can P run video. A, a, a fisheye lens live stream 24 hours a day. 360 camera. Yeah, do that. Just run it. All day, every day. And I'll just forget about it. And I'll just be down there like cursing at that real life and can be in your fucking boxers tai chi and shit bring your little carrot stick wing chun dummy down there yep (laughs) you're talking about my penis (laughs) carrot stick (laughs) wing (laughs) slapping it around (laughs) he's in his old bread room like she knows yeah but he like when you get a text from that you're it's showing up letter by letter yeah so that's even slower it's like in (laughs) real time like so and so is typing. <laughs> yeah, it's like on the Discord. Yeah, that would be scary as fuck if you're typing something out and you get real pissed off and you start back, saying back, something. Back. Go fuck. <laughs> Go eat it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> you know, something tells me he's not too happy with me right now. <laughs> That'd be some scary business. <laughs> yeah, I've used That's... one chat service that was like that. Where you can see what they're you typing. You can see what they're typing as they're typing. That's weird. I don't so like So I it. always type out a sentence, and I'm like, I could make this a little bit more professional, and then I'll retype the sentence. I don't want them to see that less professional first, first right, draft. Right, the draft, yeah. Everybody's dead. What the fuck? <laughs> when I said danger tainment, this is not what I meant. <laughs> I don't like danger. <laughs> Plus, we're out of espresso. Fuck. I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> I drank half a bottle of wine. <laughs> Plus, it seems like it would be summer. It seems like it's hot. I know it's that's October. I know. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have that October feel. I spent so much on those cameras. That's gonna return them all. They're all broke. <laughs> Dude got stabbed with one through the head and broke the camera. Here we go. You want to be on Dangertainment Remix? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> nice. Spinning heel kick to the noggin. <laughs> I like he's like, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna wrap the cord around his neck. Yeah, we're gonna strangle you with a webcam. Yeah. How strong is a webcam cord? Could you <laughs> hang someone with it? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Out a window? Yep. Ultimate punch! Damn! Ultimate kick! Ultimate punch with his feet. With his feet arms. 
His hair lit on fire. He was falling out that window. Because internet cord. I don't really know why. What? Did you see him light on fire when he went through the window? No. For like a split second, there was like a little flash of fire. Because he went through some candles? I don't, know if there were, I don't know if there were candles. He bumped into one of them soft lights that fell over. <laughs> Exploded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for a $70 broker fee, you might have the opportunity to get dangertainment.com because whomever's parking it is not actually using it. So the default GoDaddy licensing stuff is still there. Mm. We're investigating. We will. Um, Remix will investigate. We will unearth all that can be unearthed about Dangertainment.com. So yeah, sixty dollar or seventy dollar broker fee plus commission plus whatever it's going to cost to actually buy the. Uh, you know, Dimension Films owns that shit. You know they do. Through GoDaddy, he's Does Dimension still have any, a lot. He's still alive. <laughs> do you think they have any fucking? or real state does dimension films even a thing anymore i'll just send an email and be like can i just have this domain they'll probably be like thank god somebody wants it pay the pay the fee (laughs) we'll send you a check sir (laughs) name your price and take this off our hands rick rosenthal pays us yeah (laughs) becomes a patreon yeah he just sends an autograph photo (laughs) in In the the house <laughs> that joke's not gonna get old either. <laughs> no. Farting will never not be funny. <laughs> it's just scratch. Stabbed him in his shoulder. He's done for. Yeah, as he fell down with his eyes wide open. I. There are three knives sticking in that guy. Borrow one. Borrow. <laughs> Borrow three. Yeah. Throw his body at him. <laughs> That's what you would see. 99% of the time. Absolutely What's nothing. happening? <laughs> I don't know. I can kind of hear something. Dead? Listen. You smell something? <laughs> that was Michael. <laughs> Look at that frame rate. It's fucking slow-mo. Yeah, they slowed it down. What am I seeing? <laughs> pure, unadulterated 2002 technology. I don't believe that. (laughs) All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. They all die in the end. I can't go out that way. There's a body in front of it. (laughs) That's Halloween, or uh, Friday the 13th logic. (laughs) Go through a different exit. Danger- I'm having a hard time even seeing, keeping up with what's going on. Dangertainment.online, 99 cents a year. We need .com, I don't care what. The- Danger-tainment.com. Don't care what the cost. Danger-tainment? <laughs> nah, it's gotta be all one Oh word. yeah, I spare no expense for Dangertainment.com. <laughs> get that dash shit out of here. <laughs> well, if they would let me get on the website and see who's parking it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Carpenter. John Carpenter <laughs> was not expecting that. No. Apparently there's a a cut scene somewhere with Tyra Banks death scene. Somewhere. I saw that on one of the um, one of the documentaries where they, hmm. they brought that up briefly. <clears throat> they filmed it but they didn't use it. That would suck. You're like a super popular, you know, star. And you're like, I'm going to be in Halloween. And then they just basically cut out everything of you in it, except for to reveal that you're dead. Keep her making coffee. That's, That's, that's yeah, because she's she's dancing. Her death scene, you're like, nah, shit's boring. Yeah. Get rid of it. Oh, she's hung. Like, we haven't seen that already in this movie. Mm Mm-hmm. You want to know some bullshit is absolutely nobody is running the ones and twos. You have no idea if (laughs) anyone can hear anything. That's that's what I've been worried about this entire fucking time. No one's running the ship. Because I can see that my audio is the only one lighting up on the mixer, meaning I'm still super loud. And I've been turning myself down like every 20 minutes. (laughs) You're the voice I wanted to hear on this prominently. I can see you're the farthest away from your microphone. (laughs) 
<laughs> random chainsaw. That, there's a reason for that. It's so damn loud. I'm so damn loud. You got the you got the bass in your voice, man. Yeah, you don't need to hear me louder. <laughs> He's killing me! Saul's family. Ran out of gas. He's not wearing eye makeup in that shot. Grr. See, Just, that's what Flyboy should have done. <laughs> yeah. Just throw the gun. <laughs> she just pulled up. What's her name from Friday Five? Uh, Pam. Uh, Pam. Mel Melanie Kinnaman or whatever Kinnaman. her name is. Through the, throws the chainsaw at Roy. I'm totally fucked up. I keep like, and I see this over my shit, like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to him being there. <laughs> Too bad you can't see him on this. Yeah, Michael's over my shoulder here. We moved him. Which Looking mask? I like at. this too. She's He's got a mixer that's smaller than what we have. She can't get up. It's on her leg. <laughs> that that's that mixer is shit. heavy. It's fucking 10 pounds. If I put that on the back of your leg, would you be pinned to the ground? <laughs> if I was 130 <laughs> pounds of nothing. <laughs> Kick it up. Oh my gorb. <laughs> yeah, like, I always thought that was funny. I remember seeing that in theaters and being like, she has more weight worth of, like, tech on her butt than, than what fell on her leg. Like, hey, she's got six batteries on her back. Got some spares, yo. Here we go. We's back. Motherfucker. <laughs> I do ninja shit. That's just shovel shit. Right Here's ninja shit. Look at ninjas do this. <laughs> Only ninjas. This is a so, Jedi broom kid. Yeah, so do flag twirlers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being out muscled by a fish. Yeah, you got man. Man. <laughs> yeah, you for real, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought right there. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they saw Freddy vs. Jason like we need that shot in this movie Freddy vs. Jason was a year later though correct yeah yeah oh, three yeah mm -hmm. oh my god Freddy vs. Jason stole from this movie <laughs> right dude think about that man what a weird time it was in the early 2000s like we got um, we got the Jeepers Creepers franchise but we got Oof. Jason we got Jason X and then we got this and then we got Freddy vs. Jason. Um, and we we got the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake in like 03. I was like 04. Was it 04? It, was, somewhere, it, it was, was right in there. But it's somewhere around there. So yeah. so there for like a really, like a, in a really brief time, we got all the like, heavy hitters back. Yeah, that was like the last gasp. What a, what a like awesome time to be alive, even though some of the movies kind of aren't, you know. Whatever, we all still, that great. We, we still, still love went them. and saw them all. <laughs> well, and we, now, you know, you fast forward 18 years, and Oof. I've covered this movie twice in the same month. Like, it might have a lot of problems, but it's fun. It's fun <laughs> as fuck. I'm only slightly disappointed Remix didn't get more upset with, with the... <laughs> fuck this bullshit! But I like... My first worry was that the transmission from the headsets to the van wasn't going to be realistic. There were hints of specific artifacting types that only make sense for what my initial thought was. So I was happy with that. I don't understand the internet situation. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Welcome to our world now. It's a sweet punk band name. The internet situation. <laughs> <laughs> internet situation. <laughs> situation. Yeah, either that or it's a fucking synthcore band or whatever the Ooh. fuck. Synthwave band. Or One Hit Wonder. They had Go Go Hogzilla. <laughs> Dangertainment was the B-side hit. <laughs> the guy who just spent all of his life savings trying to turn Michael Myers into a soundbite. I always just thought it was weird he had that one sideburn. <laughs> You like, never had the one sideburn? You never no, went through um, that phase? Wait, I was like, what? what the hell is that? I, I never noticed that it was only on one side. Yeah, he has that one sideburn. <laughs> <laughs> the other side is just short. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I guess I never noticed that. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw that day one? 
Like, what the hell's wrong with his face? <laughs> he only shaved half of it. Well, you know, it's hard work running Dangertainment. All right, Roger. He was in the middle of shaving his face and had to... Oh, uh, shit, I forgot about sponsorship. <laughs> and watch Chung Lee. Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. My decal showed up. <laughs> you said, all right, Roger, what? What do you got? You got to shave a giant crescent moon in one side of your beard. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's uh, what's that Patreon tier? Uh, we haven't established it yet. Six hundred, I think. Probably. I was, I was thinking one twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five bucks for me to shave my face and make me look like Busta Rhymes. Two grand minimum for me. <laughs> yeah. Two K. Chicken fried motherfucker. <laughs> he has the best lines in this movie. That's it's, a shirt right there. I want Michael Myers smoldering and this is chicken fried two, motherfucker two, on two it. Two fucking drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> chicken fried, chicken fried motherfucker. <laughs> Man, it's there good. are so many alternate endings to this movie. Have you ever sat and watched them all? Like yeah. he escapes into the sewer. CFMF. Does all this crazy shit. All right, we're going to go through the special features as part of this commentary. We don't have time for that. We don't have the time. That's only 1914. There's so, there, uh, yeah, there's, there's so like, many yeah, special features. The, the entire bonus feature of watching through their headsets is like 40 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah we're not watching that. Fuck that. <laughs> Although it's we don't cool, have though. to do a pre-call because we're all in the same room. That's right. We just have some setting up to do. But, uh, yeah, so here's your. This is our ending for this one. And it's Buster Rhymes. And when I did my um, <laughs> <laughs> when I did my kill count for this movie, uh, I included this coroner as an off-screen death because um, died of fright. You are there should led be to, smoke coming out of that right, fucking bag. But you're led to believe that she is going to die, so I counted her. It's probably wrong, but I did it anyway. With his eyes closed like that, he looked like Juwan. <laughs> oh, a little bit. Uh, so there you have it. Remix. Oh. That is Halloween Resurrection. What do you think? Scream made a lot more sense in this movie. Well, Scream is awesome. <laughs> Could you pull off making uh, the live stream effect today and the restrictions that he had there? You have two vans. One at least generator. Ten, yeah, yeah, one generator, ten cameras at least. So all you need is a switcher and all of those separate cameras being able to transmit through radio into the switcher. That's all you need. You heard it here, folks. That's all you need. Go ahead and get those things and start your own danger Dangertainment. Don't Michelle, beat us but too don't danger- go to the website because we're buying that shit. Absolutely. It's ours. So don't yeah. don't steal from us. Uh, Give it because we want it. Do not copy. Gary Tunicliffe. We will Cliff. find you. Yeah. And we will destroy you. Uh, <laughs> Ocean Musick. Musick. Kirk Moussack. Small Man. Small Man. Moussack. Jack Skeets Gleason. <laughs> skeet Skeet. DeMargo. DeCamargo. Oh, it was close. Simone DeCamargo. <laughs> Bloxham is there. Oh, Bloxham. Falkenberger. <laughs> Sweat oh, Nick. I love it. Hodge. <laughs> Karg. <laughs> That's just a typo. They fucked that Max up. Max Toroba. <laughs> Gladys tongue. Show me Gladys tongue. <laughs> Computer playback was by Gladys tongue. Blair McDonald. Could it be your gaffer? <laughs> oh, gaffer, me father. Cam Waldbauer. I like that. <laughs> That's blam. A lot of good. <laughs> Latarius. Patrick Latarius. <laughs> what? I can't even say that. Must Nikki. Robert <laughs> Must Nikki. <laughs> Paul Small. <laughs> Smale. <laughs> that guy got the short end of the stick. Suki Park. Suki Park. Phil, Phil Dog. <laughs> Palasek. Phil Dog. Jeremy Odo. Oh, Odo. <laughs> Vicky Weimer. Dejuri Girio. Dejuri Girio. Benoit Ben Gerard. Benoist. Ante. Ente, like the Pokemon? Trevor Jolly. Jill Purdy. I know Jill Purdy. Kate Cripps. The L.A. Mad Dogs. <laughs> Voice casting. All right. Mike Dittrick. <laughs> Randy Spendlove. You think, yeah, you think like they, Danny Lux and his friends call him Deluxe? <laughs> <laughs> God, Missed opportunity. God damn it. Danny Deluxe Lux. <laughs> Yo, Deluxe. <laughs> 
That's some high school oh, shit right there. that is right there, man. <laughs> that guy was, like, the coolest in high school. Fucking deluxe. That's a, <laughs> yeah, that's how... <laughs> his name is also how you describe him to people who don't know him. Like, who's that? That's deluxe. What's he do? That's deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. All right, so that is our birthday commentary for Evil Dead Inks with Remix Which is weird, because I didn't take an Elm Street. I'm like, I want Resurrection, and I want to talk about the tech in it, because it'd be funny. It was I'm, awesome. I'm far too young to know anything about the internet of the time. I just know that 2002 onward was a really big time for the evolution of internet technology. Right. So if you are, this is probably going to get us copyright stricken with this tunage rocking. But uh, who cares? So if nah, you've wa- if you've you watched it, if you've watched it this far um, to the when, end, when you leave <laughs> your comment, end. make sure you tell Evil Happy Birthday. Um, You're gonna be su- three weeks late, right? But I suppose <laughs> better late than never. Ah, Ghostbusters just- two reference, deep cut. Mm-hmm. But I suppose we should probably get going because after all, there's a lot of movies out there and somebody's got to watch them. So why not us, right? <laughs> Twenty five hundred subs, you'll see it. Yeah. <laughs>